hold up. Wait, where are we right now? It looks like we're in a jungle. Uh, how do we get here? I have no idea. And uh, wait a minute, guys. Why is there a bunch of babies here? They're all so cute. This one looks just like me. But guys, I think we have a little bit of a problem. And, wait, what? Is that a tiger? What the heck? Oh gosh, oh gosh. Everyone take it out, take it out. Why is there a tiger here? I don't know, but just take it out, help me. Did you make him mad, Kim? Uh, no, he started fighting me. Guys, the jungle is not a safe place. Everyone beat up the tiger and ow, it is trying to eat me. Be careful, Dash, careful. And, oh Ew. my gosh, that was a close one. That was terrifying. Ew, but uh, where did the babies go? And, wait, what? where did they all go? Dash, yours is running away. Wait, guys, we have to follow him. Go, go, go. Uh, come on back here, baby dash. What in the world? How did they get out of that fence? Don't let him trip and fall. Oh, no. Oh, no. The jungle is not a safe place for babies. Uh, where is he going? We have to catch up. Come on. He's jumping all over the trees. He's like a monkey. He's so quick, too. Come on. Come on. I'm falling behind. Come on. Come on. We just have to keep chasing him. And uh, wait a minute, guys. Is that a jungle temple over there? What the heck? Uh, baby dash, don't go in there. Uh, uh, baby dash, come on. Come on. Uh, what are you doing? Do not take a step inside of that jungle temple. And uh, guys, uh, he just went in. What do we do? No, he's lost forever. We have to go in after him, right? But it's so scary. Yeah, guys, come on. We can't just leave a baby in a temple alone. Uh, we have to go in there. Yeah, there's deadly traps in there. We've got to help him. Yeah, guys, we have to go rescue my kid. But hold up. We got to be super careful. There's a bunch of traps inside of these jungle temples. I don't want to go inside. But we have to. Dash's kid is in here. And Yeah, come on, guys. Let's just go down it. Whoa, wait. It looks like there's a big staircase. I think Dash Baby may have went down here. Oh, no. We have to follow him. Dash Baby, hey. Hello, Dash Baby. Are you anywhere here? And oh gosh, uh, guys, what is this? What in the world is this parkour? Oh no, wait, this is where Dash Baby must have gone. Oh gosh, well, how are we supposed to get to the other side? Oh gosh, it looks like the exit is right over there, and the parkour starts right over here. But wait a minute, hold on, this jump is impossible. How are we supposed to make this? I don't know, but Dash Baby isn't here, so he definitely made it to the other side. Hmm, wait a minute, maybe we're supposed to like climb this wall or something. And uh, uh, no, I'm not trying that. Anyone else want to try? Wait, look, there's a button. Yeah, look, well, check it out. And whoa, wait, there's a button. And check it out. Whenever you press it, it opens up this jump for like just a second. But wait a minute. Hold on, guys. It's kind of risky. Who wants to go first? I don't want to go first. That's way too fast. I uh, know. I think you should dash. And, uh, what? Okay, okay. You know what? Fine. I'll go first here. I just got to press this button and then jump. And yes, I made it just barely. Oh my gosh. That was actually terrifying. Well, how in the world did you just first try that? I don't know. But guys, it's your turn now. Here, I guess I'll just spam the button now so that the jump is like always on. And all right, who wants to go? Next, someone go jump, jump, jump. Um, Cam can go first. Uh, yeah, I guess I can. All right, I just gotta time it in three, two, one. Go, 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 go. I made it. Yes. There we go. All right, uh, Ruby, uh, now you're the only one left. Uh, you just gotta be really careful and just time it perfectly. Okay, I don't really want to do this. Okay, um, three, two, one, go. Come on, ah! come on, and yes, we all made it. Let's go. That was terrifying. All right, but anyways, uh, that first jump was kind of tough, but it looks like the rest of them are actually pretty easy now. All we got are some simple fence jumps, so we can just hop on these, but everyone be super careful because these are still kind of hard. Yeah, this does look super difficult. I'm just going to be in the back. All right, and it looks like the next jump over here is just a simple slime block jump, but wait, uh, guys, did those arrow dispensers just turn on? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh, those jumps are going to be so difficult. Hold on, hold on, wait. Let me try making this jump real quick. All I got to do is jump onto this slime block and then land on this cobblestone. Yes, I made it. All right, that wasn't too bad, but whoa, what the heck is this? All right, well, I'm right behind you, Dash. I'm coming. Go, 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 go. Come on. And, and oh, yes, dude. let's go. All right, uh, Ruby, now it's your turn. You got to make the slime block jump here. Uh, Kim, I guess just jump over here on my thing to make room for Ruby. All righty, here goes. Come on, come on. You got this. And <laughs> yes, uh, let's go. I made it. All right, well, anyways, guys, uh, now we got to do these jumps over here. This actually looks really tough. How are we supposed to get past all these arrow dispensers? Um, I guess we just have to time it perfectly. Yeah, I think we just have to go at the perfect time. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess wait, we just wait, have wait, to time Dash, it. Wait, wait, what, 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 what are you, wait. What if we just take the arrows out of the dispensers? And oh, wait a minute. Actually, you're right, guys. We can just break the vines behind the dispensers and take out all of the arrows. Let's go. Oh, let's go, Ruby. That's actually big brain. Yeah, I come up with good ideas sometimes. All right. All right. Well, everyone here, let's just go ahead and take out all of the arrows from the dispensers. Here, let me grab all the arrows from this one. I'm just going to keep dropping all of them into the lava. Let's go. Wow. Well, I bet the the person who made this trap didn't think of this. Yep, let's go. This is too easy. Let's just throw all of these arrows into the lava. And here, this is the last dispenser. There we go. And yes, we just de-armed the trap. All right, well, anyways, I guess let's just keep on going and... Whoa, wait, hold on. There's some trapdoor jumps. But guys, what we can do with these is just open up the trapdoors and then make the jumps like way easier. Let's go. Oh, yeah, this parkour is like easily cheatable. Yeah, wait, this is actually really easy. But uh, wait, guys, how do we make this jump over here? Uh, this one's another impossible one. Hmm, 
Hmm, I don't see anything. Maybe there's like a hidden button. And yeah, hold on. I'm trying to look for another one of those stone buttons. Uh, everyone just oh, look all over the walls. Like this one? And wait, what? You found one? Oh, wait, there's a button right over there. Uh, wait, is that connected to uh, a jump over here? Wait, Ruby, try hitting it. Okay, I guess I'll try hitting it. And all right, yeah, go for it. Did it do anything? And oh, whoa, when you hit that button, it opened up a jump over here. Wait, wait, can you hit it again? We have to time it perfectly. Oh, no, it's one of those. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Let me just jump in. Yes, I made it. Let's go. All right, uh, Cam, you're next, I guess. All right, well, I'm ready. Ruby, just press it whenever. Okay, go. Come on, come on. And yes, you made that just barely. All right, but uh, wait, Ruby, how are you supposed to make it now? Um, I don't know. Am I stuck back here? Uh, uh, okay, hold on. Wait, it looks like there's another button up over there. Maybe that button activates it as well. Okay, uh, I guess, Cam, we have to try to get to that button over there. Let's just carefully go on these vines over here. All right, I'm right behind you. All right, all right, come on. And hold on, let me test out this button. Button and yes, check it out. The button activates that jump. All right, Ruby. Uh, so uh, we just have to time this now. Okay, let's do it. All right, so here I'll press the button in three, two, one. Let's go. Jump, jump, jump. Come on, you have to time it perfectly. Oh, I did it. Yes, I did let's it. go. Okay, do I just go on these vines now? And yep, you just gotta climb the vines. And okay, we got a few of these head hitter jumps now. What we have to do is hit our head on the ceiling and jump like that. Okay, these ones are kind of tough. I'm not gonna lie. I will. I'm right behind you, Dash. Nice, nice, nice. And okay, that one actually wasn't too bad. But oh, guys, uh, I think the next area we have to clutch on those vines okay well here let me try this out come on and yes let's go okay that is kind of scary well you did really well oh yeah don't worry i'm a clutch master let me just clutch this there we go Ooh, nice 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 all right ruby now it's your turn all righty here i go come on come on and yes nice that was perfect all right well anyways the next area looks kind of easy all we got to do is just climb this tower with all of these ladders around it oh gosh uh okay this is actually a bit harder than i thought it looks kind of fun okay hold on this is actually kind of tough but hold on I'm almost at the top. Everyone just be crouching the entire time. And yes, I made it. Yep, I'm here too. Let's go. Let's go. And okay, the next few jumps look pretty easy. It's just a few normal jumps. And okay, guys, look, the end is right over here. We just got to do these last few jumps. Yeah, come on. Let's go. We're almost to your baby. Come on. Come on. And yes, there he is. Hey, Dash baby. How's it going? And whoa, wait a minute, guys. There's a chest over here. Let's check out what's inside. And whoa, wait, there's grappling hooks. Wait, what? Hold on. Wait, give me one. Oh, they're inside of the chest. But guys, check it out. It looks like the exit is right over here. Let's get out of this place. I'm tired of being in this jungle temple. Well, sure, we can get out, but we have to keep looking for our babies. We haven't seen Cam Baby or Ruby Baby at all. Uh, yeah, we've been busy chasing Dash Baby. And, okay, yeah, that is a good point. Maybe there's somewhere out here and... Uh, Wait, Ruby, is that your kid up there? What's she doing on that tree? Wait, what? Uh, how in the world did she get up there? But, oh, guys, wait, we have grappling hooks. We have to use these to get her. Uh, I guess let's just try grappling up over there. And, oh, wait, there we go. I'm going, but uh, wait, how do we use these things? Uh, I think we just have to, like, walk towards it. Come on, come on. And, oh, wait, I'm climbing up. Come on. Yo, guys, I'm almost there. Here, we just have to keep going up like this. And hold on, wait, it's actually kind of tough to get up. Wait, this is really tough. Ruby, baby, wait for me. Come on, come on, guys. I'm almost at the top here. I'm just going to start mining down some of of this tree so that we can keep going up. Come on. And yes, guys, I made it up. I will dash. I'm almost here. And there we go. I'm coming up too. Wait for me, Ruby baby. All right. Well, anyways, that's two of the babies found so far. We got dash baby and Ruby baby. But wait, where's cam baby at? And oh no, he's on an even bigger tree. Why? Uh, how did you get up there? Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, everyone, we still have our grappling hooks. Come on. We got to go. Let's grapple onto this tree over here first. Come on. And oh no way. I'm falling. These grappling hooks are kind of hard to use. Come on. We got to Go! I'm coming for you, Cam, baby! Don't worry! Oh my gosh, I fell all the way down to the bottom here. I'm just gonna climb this tree over here and then use my grappling hook to get up over here. Let's go! All right, I'm almost up, Cam, baby. I'm almost there. Hold on, I'm gonna swing around a little bit like this. Come on, and then jump! Yes! I'm actually going crazy with this grappling hook, guys. Here, I'm almost at the top. Come on, and yes, we all made it! Let's go! Come here, Cam, baby, you're fine. All right, well, anyways, guys, now that we've rescued all of our kids, we should probably build some sort of shelter for them because it is dangerous out here in the jungle. I do not want Dash Baby getting lost again. Yeah, I don't want Ruby Baby to get eaten by a tiger. Yeah, I need to protect Cam Baby the best I can. And oh, wait a minute. I just got a banger idea. I'm gonna build a treehouse for my kid. Here, let me grab a little bit of jungle wood. And all right, Dash Baby, you're about to have the most epic shelter ever. What? You still want to build your house in the trees? I'm sick of trees. I'm building mine on the ground. Yeah, I'm very sick of trees. I'm going underneath the ground. I'm gonna have like a protected base and everything. Ooh, okay, okay. Well, guys, it doesn't matter what type of base we build as long as we can keep our kids safe. 
safe from tigers and other weird animals, then we should be good. Yeah, and that's why an underground base is going to be the best because no wild tigers can break in. And what, dude? No way. A treehouse base is going to be much better because the wild tigers can't climb trees. Uh, you don't know that they lived in a jungle for their entire life. They probably can. What? No way. But here, I'm just going to start building the walls of my treehouse. This is actually looking awesome here. I'm just going to put a bunch of glass around here so that Dash Baby can see an entire view of the whole jungle. Wow, you sure Dash Baby isn't, like, scared of heights or something? What? No way, guys. He's definitely not scared of heights. Do you not remember where we found him at, in, in all that parkour? Oh, yeah, you're right. Maybe you need to build him a parkour, too, so he doesn't get bored. Oh, yeah, right. He probably likes doing parkour. That's a good idea. And oh, wait a minute. I can build a parkour thingy to actually get up to the treehouse instead of having, like, a boring ladder. So here, let me finish up building these walls real quick. I'm just going to have three layers of glass just like that. And then for the roof, I can just have another layer of jungle wood planks. There we go. And all right, now I got to build that parkour entrance to actually, you know, get up to the treehouse. So what I was thinking is we can just have like a few parkour jumps over here. And uh, I got to make sure to make them like not too difficult because, you know, this is just supposed to be like a fun little parkour, not a real parkour challenge. Oh, yeah, your kid is like a little monkey. Yep. So he should definitely be able to do all of these jumps. But still, I'm going to make sure to make them super easy so that, you know, he doesn't accidentally fall off. But anyways, this parkour is actually looking sick. I'm just going to have it spiral around the entire tree. That could look really cool. Whoa, spiral around the tree? Wait, I can see that from here. That looks awesome. Yep, this is actually going to be sick. And this should also prevent any tigers from getting up because I don't think tigers can do parkour. Uh, how do you know that? Dude, when was the last time you saw a tiger do parkour? All they can do is like run fast. Yeah, but I wouldn't take that risk if I were you. Nah, it's fine. No tigers are going to be getting inside of this house anytime soon. We should be good. Uh, I wouldn't be too confident, Dash. I do not want Baby Ruby to be eaten by tigers, so I'm going to put a lava moat around my base. And wait, wait, what? You're putting a lava moat around your base? Wait, wait, Ruby, uh, we're literally inside of a jungle. What if your lava moat, like, uh, catches fire to one of the trees and then starts a forest fire? I'll put cobblestone around it. Jeez. You sure cobblestone's going to be enough? Lava is, like, super hot. Well, we'll just test it out then. Yeah, isn't that super dangerous for your child? And yeah, wait, Cam, that's a good point. What if Baby Ruby falls into the lava moat? Yeah, well, it's either the lava or the tiger. I can just teach her to go over a bridge. Hmm, okay, okay. But anyways, I'm almost done with my parkour. This is actually looking super sick here. I just got to make it go all the way down over here to the ground. So there we go. I think about here should be good enough. I don't want to get too close to your house, Ruby, because uh, I don't want to get near your lava moat. But here, what I could do is just grab some ladders and just have a few ladders right underneath the parkour just like that. And this is what we could use to get up to my base. Let's go. All right, well, anyways, here, now that I've built this parkour, let me test it out real quick to make sure that Dash Baby is going to be able to actually do it. So here we go. Come on. And yep, so far, so good. There's some pretty simple parkour. It's simple enough for Dash Baby to do, but there's no way any tigers are going to be getting up here. But anyways, now that I've got the parkour entrance done, hmm, what else do I need to build inside of my house? And <gasps> wait a minute, guys, since we're in the jungle, the only way that we can actually get food is, you know, if we hunt our own animals and like grow our own plants. So I should build a hunting room. Oh yeah, that's actually a good idea. I might steal that. Yeah, guys, building a hunting room is going to be very important here. What I'm going to do is just have another room off to the side of my house. This room is going to have all of the gear that Dash Baby is going to need for hunting. Wait, you're going to make Dash Baby do the hunting? Well, uh, I mean, th this is kind of a house for him. He's going to have to learn somehow. And ooh, that gives me an idea. I should probably build a training room as well so that, you know, he actually learns how to hunt. Wait, are you kidding me? He's just a baby. Yeah, but if he's going to live out here in the jungle, he got to know how to survive in the wild. Um, okay, but uh, you better make sure that he's safe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. He's going to be just fine. And what if he's not actually good at hunting? What? No, wait, guys. I'm sure Dash Baby is going to be great at hunting. And even if he's not, I'll just build a little training room for him. Um, yeah, you make sure he's protected before he goes out into danger. Yes, guys, it's fine. Don't worry. He's going to have lots of armor and stuff on. But anyways, this hunting room is looking pretty nice. I'm just building the roof for it right now. So there we go. Almost done. And all right, sick. Now that the base of the hunting room is done, I got to start putting down all of the hunting gear. So hmm, let's see. What are we going to need for hunting gear? I guess we're definitely going to need a little bit of armor. So let me grab an armor stand. And ooh, let me also grab some jungle logs. I can put down a few jungle logs in this room. And then on top of them, we could put down the armor stands. But now we got to figure out what type of armor to actually put onto them. So let's see what would be super good. And, and ooh, wait a minute. What about this tiger armor? This stuff looks awesome. Ooh, maybe 
that'll scare away the tigers. Yeah, exactly. The tigers are going to think that Dash Baby is one of them, and then they'll just, like, leave Dash Baby alone. Wait, I think I'm going to need this tiger armor, too. This armor actually looks awesome. All right, well, uh, anyways, I've still got one armor stand left. Let's see, what other types of armor could I use? But, guys, there's different types of animals besides tigers in a jungle. What? Like what? What about polar bears? There's also polar bear armor. Oh, you're right. What? No, there's no polar bears in a jungle. Oh, wait a minute. What about deers? I just found a deer skull, and wow, this thing looks awesome. I don't think there's any deer inside of a jungle. Okay, well, what type of animals are in the jungle then? Mm, let's see. There's snakes, and then there's uh, there's parrots, and uh, what else is there? Now, nah, I think you're wrong. I'm putting down polar bear armor over here. I'm pretty sure there's polar bears inside of jungles. But anyways, now that I've got the armor done, I gotta put down some gear. So let me grab a chest really quick, and I can just have a chest over here in the middle, and this chest can have all of the hunting gear. So let's see. What do we need? I guess the first thing we're probably gonna need is a sword. So let's see. We gotta find a good sword. Uh, we could use a netherite sword, but that only does eight attack damage. What do you mean only eight? Eight is a lot. Yeah, but tigers are big and scary, and they probably have a lot more health than just eight. So, hmm, what about a cool-looking axe? Are there any cool axes that I could use? And... <gasps> Wait, what about a chainsaw? What, a chainsaw? You're gonna give your baby a chainsaw? Yeah, I, I'm sure he'll be able to figure out how to use it. I mean, they're pretty simple. Whoa, wait, okay, these chainsaws are actually awesome. Chainsaw it is that is going inside of the hunting chest, but since it's a chainsaw, we're also gonna need some fuel tanks to actually power it. So let me grab some of those and just eat those right in there alongside the chainsaw. Let's go. Wait, 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 are you sure about this? Yes, Ruby, I'm sure it's fine. Dash baby can handle a chainsaw. Look at him, like he, he knows how to do parkour and stuff. A chainsaw is gonna be no problem for him. Just because you know how to do parkour doesn't mean you know how to use a chainsaw. Ah, uh, no, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. But anyways, let's see. What else is Dash Baby going to need inside of the jungle? He's going to need to have a lot of protection. So what about some healing potions just in case anything goes wrong? So here, let me grab some splash potions of instant health and just put those inside of the chest. And all right, I've only got a few slots left for stuff to put inside of the hunting chest. Oh, wait, wait. What about a grappling hook? Dash Baby is definitely going to need some grappling hooks to, you know, navigate the jungle. So I guess I can put one of those in there. But what? What else? What else? I still need some other stuff. Ooh, what about a fishing rod in case he's trying to, like, uh, hunt fish or something? I don't know. Oh, yeah, I guess that could be good. Yep, yep, yep. Fishing rod is definitely going to be important. Ooh, probably a boat and a water bucket in case, you know, he's going into the ocean. So let's put that stuff in there. We need all the good survival gear in here. And Oh, wait, speaking about survival gear, we're probably going to need a pickaxe and some torches. Let's put those in there. And I guess I can just fill up all the rest of the slots with some torches. Let's go. All right. Well, anyways, my hunting room is pretty much about done. But now I should probably build a training room so that Dash Baby actually knows how to use all of this gear. Oh, yeah. You do not want him getting hurt on that chainsaw. Yep, that would be pretty bad. So here, what I'm gonna do is just build another room right over here like this. I'm gonna build this room kind of big because it's gonna be the mob fighting training room. This is where Dash Baby is gonna turn from a baby into a man. Uh, what? That sounds so weird. No, 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 no. This is where Dash Baby is gonna get some hairs put on his chest, all right? This is where he's gonna learn how to fight some mobs by himself. Oh, wait, that's actually not a bad idea. I might steal the mob fighting room. Dude, you're stealing like every idea I have, but I don't blame you. My ideas are very good because I am just that good. But here, what I'm going to do is just build... Uh, no, I'm not copying your ideas. I'm making them better. What? Dude, you just said you were copying my... Whatever. Here, let me just build this big floor over here for the mob fighting training room. And uh, here, I should probably build a, a wall for it as well because I do not want any of the mobs getting out. And wait, wait, hold on. There's actually a faster way I can build this wall. Let me just grab a magic wand really quick with slash slash wand. And then if I select this position over here and also this position all the way down in the other corner and then run the command slash slash walls jungle wood check it out we have instant walls here let me build a little opening for the door real quick and let me also build a roof and oh wait i can build the roof with my wand as well let's set the roof into some glass that could look really good that way there could be a bunch of sunlight in here all right but anyways for the training room here's what i was thinking what we're gonna do is grab a few dispensers and just uh scatter those all around the room on the floor like this so we can have one there another one over here we can just have a bunch of them everywhere and inside of the dispensers what we're gonna do is grab a few mob spawn eggs. So uh, what about some zombie spawn eggs? Those should be pretty good for training. And we could just put those all inside of these dispensers. You sure that's not gonna scare Dash Baby No, too no, hard? no. I'm pretty sure zombies are gonna be the perfect training mob because, you know, they're not that dangerous as like a tiger, but, you know, they, they are still kind of scary. Okay, I won't tell you what to do, but that seems pretty hard for a baby. It's fine, it's fine. Dash Baby's gonna be all good, but what I need to do now is connect all of these dispensers with some redstone. So here, let me just put a few blocks underneath all of the dispensers just like this. There we go. And then underneath each of these blocks, we need to grab a redstone repeater and just have that going into the block like that. So there we go. Let's just do that on all the dispensers. Nice. That is looking pretty good. And now all we got to do is just connect everything together with a little bit of redstone.
redstone. So let's just go ahead and do that just like this. Okay, and now if we turn on this lever right over here, it should activate all the dispensers and spawn in a bunch of zombies. So here, let's try that out. And yes, let's go. That worked perfectly. All right, well, uh, here, let me grab a sword to get rid of all these guys first real quick. Take this, zombies. Come on, I gotta get rid of these guys so I can uh, continue building the next thing. And all right, here, now the next thing we gotta do is just bring the lever for actually turning on the machine all the way up over here so that we can like easily reach it. So uh, about here should be pretty good. There we go. Does this still work? And oh, yep, there we go. That works. And all right, I think the mob training room is pretty much done. The only thing we need now is a door. So uh, let's quickly grab a door really quick. Ooh, we should probably use one of these wire fence doors. We need a super strong door to make sure that none of the mobs get out or anything. So there we go. I think that should be pretty much good. And all right, my training room is done. But hmm, what else do I need to build inside of my tree house? And oh, wait a minute. I'm going to need to build a kitchen. Dash Baby's going to do all of this hunting and, you know, bring home all of this food. But he needs to have a place to eat it as well. Oh, wait, Dash, you're just making your kitchen one room? Uh, yeah, what else am I going to do? It's a kitchen. Uh, I'm making my kitchen an entire house. What? Why? Uh, because I need a big kitchen, of course. Isn't that kind of overkill. I'm giving my kid a campfire. And yeah, Kim, having an entire house for the kitchen seems a, a bit too much. I'm not really sure what the point of that is. Well, I think I'd rather be safe than sorry. What? Uh, okay, that's kind of weird, but here, what I'm gonna do for my kitchen is build it on this other tree over here. I think that could look pretty cool. So here, I'm just building a staircase to get down to it right now. We're gonna have this staircase go all the way down over here to this floor like that. There we go. And then we can just have this entire other tree over here be entirely for the kitchen. So here, the first thing we gotta do, of course is set the floor so let's just select this position with our wand and also this other position all the way in this corner and let's just set all of this into a little bit of jungle wood there we go and now again we got to build the walls of course so let's just select these positions and do slash slash wall jungle wood there we go that's looking pretty good and uh, here let's build a little hallway around the stairs for actually getting in there we go that's looking pretty nice and here the next thing we got to do of course is set the roof so let's just go ahead and do that now we can select our positions with our wand again like this and then run the command slash slash set jungle wood there we go and all right sick there we go the outline for my kitchen is complete this is looking pretty cool but hold on it, it, it's looking kind of uh, sad in here there's like no open light so how about we set this wall over here entirely into some glass panes that could look pretty nice let's try this out slash slash set glass panes boom there we go Ooh, that's looking really good we got like an entire view of the jungle let's do that to all the walls i think that looks really good let's just set all of these walls around here into some glass nice Nice. There we go. And all right, now what we got to do for our kitchen is, you know, of course, add in some tables and chairs. So for the tables, how we could make them is just uh, by putting down a fence over there like that and then having a brown carpet on top of it. And then we can just put down a few of these chairs around it just like that. That looks pretty good. Here, we can build a few chairs and tables just in case Dash Baby wants to bring any of his uh, jungle friends around here or something. I don't know. Wait, what kind of jungle friends does he have? Uh, Honestly, I don't know. Maybe he's like friends with monkeys or something. I, I, I want to make sure there's enough room for all his friends, you know? Oh, fair enough. All right. But, oh, wait, we should also probably have a little storage area where Dash Baby can store all of the food that he hunts for. So, here, we could just have, like, a few chests over here like this. And, wait a minute, hold on. We can't just have the chests out in the open. Then the food is gonna go bad. What we gotta do is build a little freezer room here. We can build a freezer over here in this corner. Oh, yeah, that's actually smart. Yeah, 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 it is smart. Uh, don't steal it, Cam. I know you've been stealing all my ideas. Uh, no, I'm actually making a farm right now. Ooh, wait, you're building a farm? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. That actually is a pretty good idea as well. I might have to steal that. Uh what? No, oh, I, I, actually, I guess that's fair. Hey, you stole a few of my ideas, but anyways, here, I think these bunker doors look pretty good for the freezer. We gotta make sure to keep all of the cold air in and not let any of the cold air out. And anyways, I guess for this freezer, we can just have a few rows of chests over here like that. And then we also need to grab a little bit of ice and ooh, let's grab some blue ice since I'm pretty sure it never melts. And here, I can just put this blue ice all over this wall of the freezer over here. This should make sure that everything stays super cold and um, chilly and nothing goes bad. There we Go. that's pretty good all right but anyways now that we got the kitchen area done i think i'm gonna build a farm because you know the, the, what if dash baby's getting tired and he doesn't want to go hunting then he could just go farming yeah i know they are dash totally didn't steal my idea uh, dude dude you, you said it was fine if i could steal your idea right uh, i guess Sam, you didn't invent farms and yeah you did not invent farms but anyways i guess i'll build the farm right over here i'm gonna build a very epic farm there's gonna be like multiple layers for each type of crop so here like always let's go ahead and build a little jungle wood pathway to actually get over to the farm so uh, 
so there we go this is looking pretty nice and all right now we gotta build the actual farm itself and here i was thinking we should build this thing absolutely massive because we gotta have a lot of food supplies because you know uh, what if it's like i don't know winter and dash baby doesn't want to go hunting because it's cold well that's right and the animals don't come out in the winter either exactly exactly they're gonna be hibernating so having a farm is definitely important here i'm just gonna select all this floor that i just built and then look this way and if i run the command slash slash stack check it out i can just stack the farm over this way so here let me do slash slash stack again let me try doing slash slash stack five and ooh, there we go that's getting pretty big let's do slash slash stack one more time while looking this way and all right there we go i think this should be big enough for the farm now what we got to do is of course put some fence around the entire thing so here we can do that with our wand again let's select this corner and also this other corner over here and let's just run the command slash slash walls acacia fence there we go that is looking pretty nice and all right now it's time to get to hoeing we gotta grab a hoe and uh we just gotta hoe all of this land but wait wait wait, wait. actually hold on before we get to hoeing uh we have to put down the water because then the farm is just gonna dry out so wait a minute what i was thinking is for the water what we could do is uh let's just build a little platform underneath the farm like this i'm just gonna set this floor down here into a little bit of jungle wood there we go and here next let's go ahead and make a bunch of holes a few blocks away from each other around the entire farm just like this there we go and here we gotta make sure to do this around the entire farm so some over here as well and now we can go ahead and fill up all of these holes with a little bit of water let's go this should make sure that all of the farm has enough water and doesn't dry out all right now it's hoeing time let's go ahead and hoe all of this land and now that we have water the farm shouldn't dry out in fact, I think there's a faster way we can do this. Let me select this position and also this position over here. And let me just run the command slash slash replace grass with some farmland. And hey, there we go. The entire farm just got instantly hoed. That is actually awesome. Anyways, now we got to figure out what type of seeds we're going to be planting. So uh, I guess what we could do is grab some wheat seeds and then we could have multiple floors for the farm. So on this first floor, we could just have it be all wheat seeds. And then we could build another floor above this. And then we could have like carrots on that floor and then another floor above that. And we could have potatoes or something. Something. Yeah, this farm is gonna be absolutely crazy. So here, I'm just gonna keep putting down all of these seeds all over the farm and hold on I'm pretty sure I can actually do this with the wand as well Let me just select both of these positions over here And then if I look this way, I can go ahead and just run the command slash slash stack Uh, I don't know 15 and <gasps> check it out. We just instantly planted a bunch of seeds. Okay, that is awesome Here, let me just do that for the entire farm really quick. There we go. And all right, nice We have all of our wheat seeds fully planted. All right, but anyways now that we got the wheat floor done We gotta build some other floors for our farm here's what i was thinking let's select this position over here and then also this position all the way up over here and then if i go and look up and run the command slash slash stack check it out we got two floors of our farm and whoa wait look at the water the water flows so perfectly that actually works out so well but Wait, wait, what? hold on. Why did a bunch of our seeds over here just break? What the heck? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I think it's because we don't have enough light in here. Let me grab some glowstone really quick. And uh, we got to light this place up. It's kind of dark around here. I guess what we could do is just have a big row of glowstone going around this entire farm. This should make sure that everything is lit up enough. And hey, there we go. This should be more than enough lighting here. Let me try planting down these seeds again. And yes, perfect. They work. All right. Well, anyways, now that the first floor of the farm is done, let's move on to the next floor. What I can do is grab a few stairs. And here, we can just have a little staircase to get up to the second floor so let's just put this staircase down over here like that that's looking pretty nice let's go and now over here on this second layer let's go ahead and get rid of all of these wheat seeds i'm just gonna set all of these wheat seeds into some air there we go and then we gotta replace these wheat seeds with something else so i was thinking what about some potatoes yeah there we go potatoes are really good we gotta make sure dash baby is eating super healthy so let's just select all of these potatoes and then look this way and then stack them again like the first floor there we go nice and all right here i think we should build one more layer uh i guess let's select all of this again just like that and now if i look up and run the command slash slash stack boom there we go we have another floor of the farm we have three floors this is actually awesome and Oh, no, wait, hold on. We got to put the glowstone here again. It looks like there's not enough light. And there we go. That should be good. All right, let's get back to planting our potatoes. Let's go. And all right, there we go. All of the potatoes should be planted. But now we got to find out what type of uh, plant we're going to be growing on this third floor of the farm. So let's just go ahead and uh, get rid of all of these potatoes. And let's see, let's see. What type of plant should we be growing here? Uh, we could do pumpkins, melons. Uh, I 
don't think those are going to be good. Uh, we could do beetroot. W wait, what about some carrots? I think those are best. Yeah, yeah, okay. Carrots should be pretty good. They give you a lot of hunger bars. So here, let's just have the carrots all over there like that. And then let's select these. And then, of course, we could slash slash stack them just like that. Nice. And oh, wait, hold on. It looks like the stair over here got a little bit messed up when we uh, slash slash stack the layers. Hold on. Let's uh, build another stair to get up to the third floor. We can have the stair for getting up to the third floor be right over here. This should be pretty good. Here we go. And all right, nice. I think this farm is pretty much done. And oh, wait a minute, hold on. I have one last idea before we can call it done. Let me just go down in this corner and select this position. And then also all the way up over here in the opposite corner. And all right, check it out. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to set the walls of this entire farm into some glass. There we go. That looks awesome. Now it looks like a proper greenhouse. Let's also go ahead and set the roof into some glass. So there we go. And all right, sick. This farm is looking absolutely awesome. Hey, Cam, thanks for the farm idea. This thing is looking great. Uh, you're welcome. All right. But anyways, now that my farm is done, let's see. Let's see. What else do I need to build inside of this epic tree house? This thing is actually looking awesome so far. I'm sure Dash Baby loves it, but... Hmm, what do we need? What do we need? And oh, wait a minute. I should probably have some more entertainment for Dash Baby. What? The chainsaw isn't enough entertainment for him? And the, what? No, the chainsaw wasn't supposed to be entertainment. That was hunting equipment. Uh, the only entertainment I really have right now is just these like parkour jumps. Hmm, what, what does Dash Baby like doing? Let me see. Well, he probably likes doing what you like doing. Oh, yeah, yeah. That actually is a good point. He kind of looks exactly like me. Uh, okay. Wh what do I like doing? Let's see. Oh, you like looking into mirrors. And <gasps> wait a minute, Ruby. You're right. I do like looking looking into mirrors a lot, probably because I'm so attractive. Whoa, whoa, I forgot I have this helmet on. Okay, that, that is kind of funny. Whoa, whoa, wait, hold on. Do we have any mirrors? How am I supposed to build a mirror and... <gasps> Wait a minute. Actually, I don't think I can build a mirror, but I think I might know the next best thing. Uh, wait, Ruby, hold on. Can you kill me real quick? Wait, what? You want me to kill you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just need a quick favor here. Let me just switch myself to game mode survival really quick. There we go. And all right, yeah. Uh, can you just, uh, you know, uh, get, get the job done? Uh, yeah, I can do that real quick. Okay, one, two, three... Four. All right, thank you very much. And okay, perfect. And all right, all right. Now, uh, Ruby, did you get my head by any chance? Uh, yeah, but what do you need this for? Oh, perfect. Uh, can, can I have that? I'm just gonna place them all over my house. I'm sure Dash Baby's gonna love it because you know we kind of have the same face. That's a little weird, but okay. No, 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 no. It's gonna be awesome here. I'm just gonna have a bunch of these heads all over the house. I'll have a few over here like that. There we go. Are you just trying to scare away monsters? And what? No, my face is so nice. It's not gonna scare away monsters. Um. Oh. Okay, I'm a little confused. All right, well, anyways, I think that should be enough heads everywhere. I've got them all on top of these fences, but anyways, hmm, what other types of entertainment do I need to build? This isn't really, like, that entertaining. All you do is just look at the heads, and then uh, th that's about it. It'll get old. So, <gasps> wait a minute. I know what I can build for entertainment. What about I build an ice boat race? What, well, ice boat racing? Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. Pretty much what it is, I can have a bunch of ice all over the floor like this, and then if you put a boat on top of it and drive the boat, it goes, like, super fast fast since like you know the ice is super slippery oh wait that actually sounds cool yeah yeah it's awesome in here what i could do is have an entire ice boat racetrack going around my entire house that could be sick wait you're gonna have it in the sky what if he falls off and, oh, oh oh wait actually that is a pretty good point i guess what i could do is just put some fences around it i'm sure the fences will like stop him from falling off um i'm not sure about just fences and hey for me don't forget he did that entire parkour in the jungle temple all by himself i'm sure he'll be able to manage this um, Okay, if you think so, but at least try to keep him safe. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I've just added some fences, and there's, like, no way you can fall off. He should be perfectly fine. And, oh, no, I just fell off. Hold on. Okay, uh, that was only because there were no fences there. But if you can fall off, then he can fall off. Hey, that was only because there was no fences here. Once I have the entire course done, there's going to be fences everywhere, and it'll be all safe. Oh, I'm scared for Dash Baby. What? Dash Baby is just fine. But, actually, I'm pretty sure there's a really fast way I can build this ice boat race. What I got to do is just stand right over here in the center of my building. And here now I can go ahead and run this command slash cylinder and uh, how big should we make this cylinder? Let's make it uh, 50 blocks wide. So let's try running that and check it out. We have a big cylinder around our entire base. Let's go. This is looking awesome. But right now the racetrack is looking kind of small. The cylinder is only like one block wide. So we got to widen that a little bit. Let's go back over here in the middle of our build and let's go ahead and make another cylinder except this one will make it 49 blocks wide and then we'll also make one more that's 51 blocks wide. So check it out now. 
we made our entire racetrack a little bit bigger. Let's go. Although, wait, hold on. There's a few missing holes around here. We can just go around the entire track and fill those in by hand. That shouldn't take too long. So there we go. Let's just fill in all of these holes. And all right, sick. The racetrack is actually looking awesome. But now I got to add in all of those fences. And uh, hmm, I don't really want to do that by hand. That's going to take a while. So I'm pretty sure I can actually just do that with commands. Let me go back over here in the center of our build again. And here, let me just go ahead and run that exact same cylinder command that we used to build the track, except instead of blue ice, we're going to use some fences. And yes, check it out. Now we got fences around the entire track. Let's also add another layer of fences around the inside. So there we go. And all right, sick. Check it out. Our track is pretty much done. These fences are looking kind of weird. They're not really connected to each other, but it should be fine. It should be uh, safe enough, uh, I think. I'm not going around this entire track connecting these fences. That's going to take way too long. Uh, are you sure it's going to be safe that way? Yes, I'm sure it's going to be safe. It's going to be just fine. But here, now let me just connect this big uh, circle track all the way over here to my main house. So just like this. And then let's go ahead and also put some fences down over here on the sides. And all right, awesome. This racetrack is pretty much done. Hold on. I got to take it for a spin. Let me just go all the way over here to the start. And all right, here we go. We got to take the racetrack for a spin. Let me hop in this boat and let's go. This racetrack is actually pretty awesome. Hold on. Wait, let's actually get on the track real quick. It's kind of hard to steer this thing. And okay, here we are. Now we can start racing. Let's go. Let's go. This thing is awesome. And hold on. I haven't even fallen off yet. That means everything is safe. Here, I'm going to do a full lap. This thing is sick. I'm almost at the end. Let me just go over here. Come on. And yes, let's go full lap. And I didn't even fall off, which means it's perfectly safe. Phew, I was worried about you for a second there. No, no, no. It's fine. Don't even worry about it. But now what I'm going to do is just, uh, you know, add some finishing touches. I'm going to make a little start and finish line right over here. So here, we can just have a bunch of black and white wool just like that. That's looking pretty good. Let's have another one right over here for the finish line. Let's go. And all right, I think this racetrack is pretty much done. Now I just got to add a few things over here at the start. The first thing we got to do is, of course, add a chest with a bunch of boats inside of it. And then the next thing we got to do is actually have a way to get up here from our house because right now uh, it's kind of just like chilling on our roof. So what I was thinking is we can just go inside of the house and just uh, put some blocks over here on the wall. And then let me grab a few ladders and we could just have some ladders to actually get up to the roof like that. This should be pretty good. Yeah, this works perfectly. All right. Well, anyways, my house is actually looking pretty awesome. I've got the entertainment. I've got the food and the farm and the hunting room and everything. But wait, I don't have a bedroom. That's the last thing I need. Hold on. Hold on. This is going to be a very bad house without a bedroom. Yeah. Did you want your baby to sleep on the floor? Uh, uh well, no, I, I just forgot about the bedroom here. I'll build it right now. But, uh, hmm, where could I build it? I guess I could build it like above the main tree house. I could have this ladder thingy extend way above over here. So I can just have it go like way up. And then I could have the bedroom up over here. This could be really cool. It's going to be like the penthouse bedroom. It's going to be sick. What penthouse bedroom? That sounds awesome. I don't think Dash baby needs that. It's a little bit much for a baby isn't it? No, no, no. I gotta be the best parent. I'm gonna build the most epic bedroom for my kid. Mm, I guess you have a point, but still... It's gonna be all good here. I'm just gonna build the floor for it right now. I just gotta build a nice floor just like this. And, uh, what the heck? Did something just blow up? Oh, no! What happened? I was setting up a self-destruct and my entire base blew up! And, uh, <laughs> what? Oh, no! Why were you setting a self-destruct in your base? You can never be too prepared! Uh, what? What in the world? Well, I can. You set up a lot of TNT. Some of the TNT got up to my farm. What the heck? Uh-oh. Um, are you guys going to be okay? I think my base is going to be fine, but Kim, your entire base is gone. What are you going to do? Oh, no. I, I can try and build a quick one. It's going to be dark soon. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Yeah, yeah just build a quick one. It's probably going to get dark soon, and we ought to have a place for our kids to stay. And all right. Well, anyways, I'm going to get back to building my house now. Wow, Kim, how, why did you build a self-destruct in your house? That is such a bad idea. Uh, well, you can... Uh, I didn't know that maybe a tiger breaks in. Uh, I had to pull the self destruct lever. Oh, gosh. Well, why don't you just get rid of the tiger instead of blowing up the entire house? Well, I had plans, but, you know, I had backup plans for backup plans. Well, it looked like you had a little bit too many backup plans, Cam. And, and yeah, dude, self-destruct, that was a horrible idea, especially with a baby living in the house. What if the baby accidentally uh, triggered it? Wait, make sure your baby's okay. And, yeah, wait, where's your baby, Cam? Did he blow up? No, no, he's fine. He was right next to me. He was nowhere near the base. Phew. Okay, well, at least your baby's all right, but uh, anyways, I'm gonna get back to building my bedroom. I gotta build this bedroom right over here like this. This house is actually looking awesome. Let's go. So there we go. Just got to put down this last fence and all right. Yeah, that is looking pretty good. Now we got to actually deck out the interior of the bedroom. So let's head up these ladders real quick. And all right, what do we need inside of a bedroom? Uh, first things first, we got to grab a bed and ooh, we're going to grab a purple bed because
because you know that that's probably dash baby's favorite color so let's put down the beds right over there like that looking good we can have a few stairs over here like that these could be like bedside cabinets where dash baby can put like uh, books or something if he wants but hmm anything else we need in a bedroom let's see let's see Ooh, what about like a little desk over here in case he wants to uh, I, I don't know like do some stuff on a desk yeah there we go that looks pretty good and all right, I think this bedroom should be about done. Is there anything else I need inside of my house? Um, do you have a bathroom? And wait, you're right. I don't have a bathroom. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, I gotta build the bathroom. Um, here. I guess I can just build the bathroom like off to the side of the bedroom. Wait, wait. How am I supposed to build a bathroom if my house is in the sky? Where is the pee gonna go? Um. Do not put the bathroom anywhere near my house. Uh, Ruby, I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of on top of your house right now. Is it all right if I, like, drop it onto Do your house? Do not put the bathroom up there. Why? It's, like, the only good spot. Because it'll fall into my house. Yeah, yeah, it, it, you know, it, it's fine. You can just, like, uh, get rid of it. No, wait, put it over the ocean or something. Wait, over the ocean? And, oh, wait, I could do that, but the ocean's way too far. Just build a bridge. Nah, I think I'm good. Oh, whatever. I better not see any poop on my house. Uh, it's fine, it's fine. I, I was joking. I'm, it's not actually gonna put poop on your house. Uh, I'm just gonna build it over here and then i'll have it uh spray the poop uh, that way into the forest i'm pretty sure it's good fertilizer um okay yeah yeah it's gonna be all good here let me just grab some quartz i'm gonna build the bathroom out of quartz because why not this should look pretty sick there we go and now we gotta add the walls for the bathroom and uh i guess we can build the walls out of quartz as well we probably shouldn't build the walls out of glass in this room because you know uh, it, it's the bathroom. We don't want any, uh, birds flying by and seeing Dash Baby doing his business. So, here, we can set the roof to some quartz as well. And here, now let's put some doors over here in front of the washroom. And, all right, sick. Now, the only thing we gotta do is, uh, actually build the washroom stuff. So, first, we gotta build a toilet. Let me grab a cauldron real quick and a trap door. We can put down the toilet right over here. And let me also grab a little bit of water. There we go. And, all right, sick. That's why, oh, I just went inside of it. Ew! Ew. Hey guys, it's fine. It's fine. It's a brand new toilet. No one actually used it yet. But here, the next thing I got to add is the flush. I guess we can add that in right over there. And wait a minute. Hold on. I think I know a way I can make this flush actually functional. Here, we can grab a dispenser and just go outside and put that right underneath the toilet like that. And uh, wait, hold on. This is kind of right on top of Ruby's house. But hold on. That could be funny. Let's just leave it there. And wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Let's also go ahead and grab a few of these things called poop chargers and just uh, put those inside of the dispenser like that and all right now i'm pretty sure whenever we flick this lever it should send a bunch of poop raining down to ruby's house so let's test this out and <laughs> that actually looks hey, so funny what did you just do uh, uh, well, that, that was that was my toilet uh you know i, I told you I, I had to build it up here there was no other room what i told you not to uh i'm sorry you know duty calls and you know i had to uh i don't want to hear about your duty <laughs> okay okay fine 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 here let me cover that up real quick and we could just save this for uh, when someone actually wants to use it. Anyways, the next thing we gotta build in our washroom is, of course, a little sink area. So I guess let's grab another cauldron and some more water. And we can put down the sink right over here, just like that. And here, let's also add a little bit of window here, you know, just for uh, for a nice little view. There we go. And all right, nice. I think the washroom should be about done. All right, well, anyways, now that my bathroom is done, I'm pretty sure I have everything I need for my house. I've got the bedroom, I've got the farm, I've even got an entire ice boat race track. Uh, yeah, I think my house is done. Uh, I guess my house is done, too. Wait, mine is also done. What is Cam wearing on his head? What is that? Oh, it's a mask. I don't know how to get it off. It's stuck. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, Cam, you're just not having a good day, are you? But wait, anyway, since all of our houses are done, we should check each other's houses out. Wait, hold on, Cam. Can we see yours first since uh, it kind of blew up? I guess we can check out my house first. All right, and... Oh, wait, do we just go in through this hole over here? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, this is the hidden entrance, and you can see uh, there was a town here. And Whoa, but you had an entire underground town? That actually kind of looks cool, but wow, okay, a lot of it blew up, it seems. Wait, where's the entrance? I can't find it. Oh, the, yeah, that means it's working. It's a hidden entrance. It's over here, Ruby. Oh, I can see. That's cool. Yeah, all right. Well, this area looks pretty cool, but what's inside all of the houses? And wait, what's inside of this obsidian box over here? This is the, the baby cam shelter for the night. Uh, why does it look like a prison? Because it's all I had time to build, and it's the securest thing I could build in the time. Why can't you just sleep in one of these houses? These houses look nice. Because there's a giant hole over there. So? It's fine. These houses have their own doors. Yeah, it's fine. Um, Look, we can just make it look kind of pretty. I'll just put this here and here. Anyway, uh, this here was supposed to be the kitchen, but uh, there's a giant hole in the roof now. Oof, that is unfortunate. But uh, wait, what the heck? What type of food do you have in here? And, oh, no food. 
Uh, yeah, well, it kind of got all evaporated in the explosion. Uh, as you can see over here, uh, this was supposed to be the toilet. Oh, oh, uh, I, I see. Uh, I mean, the toilets are still here. I guess that's good. It still works. Yeah, these look great. Yeah, and uh, this next uh, house was supposed to be the farming house. And, oh, now it's uh, now it's a water fountain. I, I'm, it's a water park. Hey, yeah, yeah. Look, it's, uh, it's a nice swimming water park. Oh, yeah, baby Cam's going to love swimming. Uh, yeah, sure. But uh, well, this house over here was supposed to be the bumper cars area. What the, you had a bumper cars area down here? Oh, wait, I can even see one of the cars. Yeah, there's one left. Yeah, this is the only bumper car left. All right, well, anyways, what's inside this house over here? Was this the armor house? Whoa. Yeah, this is the armory. Uh, I think the stuff in the chest is still here if you want to check it out. Ooh, wait, you had a grappling hook? Hold on, can I use this thing? Whoa! Guys, I'm stuck on a ceiling. How do I get down? How do I get down? I just unuse it. How do I unuse it? I'm, I'm trying to crouch. It's not letting me out. Oh, oh. Oh, there we go. I'm out. I'm out. Yeah, the grappling hooks are pretty cool, but uh, this is the mob training room. I'm pretty sure it still works. Ooh, wait, you have a mob training room as well? And Whoa, but you just want to get a... What, is that a tiger, a bear, an African lion? What the heck, dude? These are some way too hard fighting mobs. Uh, no, they're not. Check this out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but dude, I don't think this is going to be good for your baby. Why don't you do like only zombies? Those are good practice mobs. Tigers? Uh, those are uh, like next level. Yeah, this is super scary. Uh, no, uh, he's gonna have to learn to fight in his own environment and zombies don't spawn all the time. Okay, okay, if you say so, but hold on. What's in this last house over here? I wanna see this and... Oh, wait, it goes downstairs. Oh, wait, do you have an ice boat racetrack as well? No, not a racetrack. Uh, if you just go to the end, I'll show you. Whoa, what the heck is this? You have planes and... Wait, what do these buttons do? Close, open. Whoa, is this like an escape route or something? Yeah, this is an emergency escape route in case the base gets overrun with tigers. Ooh, this looks fun. Whoa, yeah, this is pretty awesome, but... Wait, how do we get out? Uh, oh, oh, wait, there's ghost blocks. That's kind of cool. Yep, and uh, that's my entire tour. All right, well, honestly, for your house being blown up, that actually wasn't too bad. You still had quite... Quite a bit of stuff and honestly it still works just fine as a house and all right ruby what's what's your house hold on i'm flying over to your house let's check this thing out okay my house is right under yours actually yep i can tell wait hold on where's the entrance do we start over here oh i guess we can start from the outside yeah all right all right well uh what's this area so this is the fishing pier Ooh, wait you have a fishing pier that's actually really nice that way ruby baby can get like fish in case she ever wants any oh yeah i didn't think that we'd start the tour over here so this is actually the backyard we'll go backwards it's fine but um over here we have the bathroom. And wait, what? There's the bathroom? You just have it outside? Wait, you don't even have like a full door here. Yeah, and this is the shower. What? Uh, what? Wait, th th that's kind of gross. Wait, there's not even any privacy here? What do you mean? It's just gonna be baby Ruby and me, right? Uh, yeah, but I think you forgot about your neighbors. I literally live above you. Yeah, we live right beside you. Uh, well, just don't come over. Geez. This is the backyard anyways. Let's check out what's inside. I'm curious to see. And okay, this is looking pretty nice. Wait, what's this over here? This is my gym. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Wait, a gym is a good idea. Baby Ruby can get super buff. Yeah, I put down the heaviest weight that I could. Um, let me see if I can lift this up. And, uh, what the? Yeah, let's put it down. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. That was pretty impressive. And this is just a yoga mat. Well, uh, you've got a giant weight in a yoga mat for your workout area. That's kind of weird. That's all that you need. All right. And wait, why are the walls here made out of dirt? Um, because I never replaced it. But, um, if we go over here, I can show you the lava mode. Ooh, okay. Whoa, this lava mode is looking pretty nice. I I'm sure this will keep all the tigers out, but wait. Whoa, but you have an entire animal pin in here? That's awesome, and... Wait, what is is that a goose? Yeah, it's a goose, Hong Kong. What the? Where'd you get a goose from? Um, I found him. This is just my petting zoo. Haven't you always wanted to pet a goose before? Oh, it's a petting zoo? I thought this was like where you get your food from. Uh, what? No. There's a red panda in there. There's a what? A red panda. That's a panda? That looks like a fox. I, no, they're called red pandas. Can I eat it? No, don't eat him. What's the point of them then? Ugh, this petting zoo thing is confusing, but whoa, but you have a bee enclosure as well? Yeah, this is supposed to be the garden, but the bee it's kept on escaping, so I closed the greenhouse. Oh, oh, fair enough. Now they're just stuck in there forever, but all right, let's check out the next area. What's up over here? And whoa, wait, is this like the living area? This looks pretty cool. Yeah, so this is the um kitchen. You just cook food on there, and then there's some stuff on the side. So, like, over here, we have some ice and some meat. Ooh, nice. That's actually a pretty good idea, but wait, hold on. What's over here? In oh, is this the bedroom? Yeah, this is her bed. Why, why is it so flat and on the ground? This is going to cause back problems. What do you mean? Laying flat on your back is good for your back. She even has a pillow, see? Hard as a rock. Wait, it is a rock. Yeah, I don't think that pillow is very comfortable. <laughs> this is my favorite. You guys are being mean. All right, all right. Well, anyways, was that your entire house? That was pretty cool. And whoa, wait, hold on. I see you 
have an armory room up here. What the? Is that wood armor? What the heck? Yep. So she has something for camouflage and she has something for fighting. Oh, camouflage. That's actually a really good idea. That's going to be really important out here in the jungle. I didn't even think about that. But anyways, was that your entire tour? This area is actually pretty cool. There's actually something else on top. Oh, wait. There is. What is it? And whoa. Okay. Okay. Let's check this thing out. Yeah. This is my archery tower that you pooped on. Oh, oh yeah. I, I guess that was kind of unlucky timing. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's my poop dispenser right there. But whoa. This archery tower is awesome. You can like shoot down any tigers that get near. Yep, and that is the end of my tour. Let's go. That was pretty sick. But anyways, guys, now do you want to check out my house? My house is probably the most epic one here, as you can tell. Just look at how big it is. Yeah, I've been watching you build it from here. It's huge. Oh, yeah. Uh, I guess we start from the parkour, right? And yep, we got to start all the way down here. At, uh, what, Cam, why do you have the wood armor on? <laughs> uh, I don't have anything on Dash. It's a, that's just a weirdly shaped tree. Oh, oh, you're trying to camouflage. All right, but anyways, yeah, we could start down here at the parkour. The way to get up is just by doing all of this parkour. And it's pretty simple. It's really easy, so you shouldn't fall or anything. And yeah. It's actually kind of pretty, too. Yeah, it looks awesome. But anyways, once you do the parkour, you can get all the way up here. And oh, there's Dash Baby. He's just chilling on the parkour. But right over here is the entrance to the house. Oh, there's so much stuff. Uh, where do we start? I like the view. Yep, we've got a lot of stuff here. And the view is pretty awesome. But uh, I guess we can start over here. This is the hunting room. Over here, we've got a bunch of gear for hunting. We've got some tiger armor on this side. And we've even got some polar bear armor on this side. And then inside of the chest, we have all of the gear that you might need. This polar bear armor actually looks pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. And the best part is we have a chainsaw. So here, everyone, uh, go ahead and grab a chainsaw real quick. Let me just drop one for you guys real quick. There's one for you, Cam, and one for you, Ruby. And uh, here, guys, follow me over to the fighting room. Uh, okay. Everyone just hop in through this door. Uh, I, I want to show you guys what the fighting room is like. This is how Dash Baby is going to train. Um, okay. Wait, let me put on some tiger armor. And yep, you're definitely going to want to have some armor for this. Okay, I have it on. And all right, are you guys both ready here? I'm about to flick the lever. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. All right, all right, let's go in three, two, one. Here we go. Let's see how you guys do. This is a lot better than Cam. Yeah. Yep, we only have zombies here. We don't have like tigers or anything. And whoa, it looks like you guys are popping off with those chainsaws. Let's go, yes. Woo. These things are powerful. Yep, those chainsaws are awesome. But anyways, next up, I guess you guys can follow me uh, right over here. This is the farm. This is where we have all of our plants and stuff. We've got multiple floors, actually. We've got the first floor here with the wheat. And then we've got another floor up here with some potatoes. And finally, we have a third floor with a bunch of carrots. Whoa, wait, this is actually cool. This is the hugest farm I've ever seen. Yeah, it's pretty ginormous. Wait, Cam, what did you do? I totally didn't step on a... But far, oh, the oops, I, I keep, the oops, I keep stepping hey, on them. Don't, don't, chill, 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 stop, stop, going. what the heck, dude? I'm gonna steal some carrots for you. No, 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 guys, don't steal my carrots, come on, go get your own crops or something. Okay, okay, but you have so many. Yeah, you could share, you know, sharing is caring, Dash. I'm only gonna share them with Dash, baby, okay, but anyways, uh, let's see, what else do we have? Ooh, I should show Wait, you guys the kitchen. What are these heads doing and, here? Oh, oh, I'm glad you asked. Well, Ruby, uh, like you said earlier, you reminded me that, uh, I really like looking into the mirror, but I don't really know how to build a mirror, so there's the next best thing. Uh, did Dash Baby tell you that he liked this? Oh, Dash Baby's head is just the same as mine, so I'm sure he'll like it just as much as I do. No, it's not. His is smaller. Yeah, but they look the same. Um, anyways, what's next on the tour? Alright, well, anyways, next up, you guys can follow me right over here this way. This is the kitchen. This is where we can go after uh, we have all of the food and stuff, so you can just, like, take a seat and, uh, yeah. Oh, all that training has me worn out. What's for eating? Uh, why are you guys sitting at the tiny table? Come on, sit at the big kid's table. Yeah, yeah, big table is pretty nice, but, uh, anyways, we don't have any food right now. Uh, you kind of have to hunt for your own food. Oh, come on. And Whoa, what is all this ice? Is this a freezer? Oh, yeah, there's a freezer. This is where Dash Baby can put the food after he's done hunting so that it doesn't go bad. Oh, wait, I have some food. Can uh, we cook that? I'm kind of hungry. And Oh, uh, wait, about cooking, I kind of forgot to have some furnaces here. Uh, I guess we just have to eat what, it raw. You made a whole kitchen without a place to cook food? Uh, yeah, you, you, you can just eat it raw. Ew, no, that requires me to eat raw food. It's the healthiest that way. Yeah, no, I'll just eat my carrot. Okay, okay, well, anyways, guys, I've got a few more things to show you guys. Right up over here is the ice boat racing track. So everyone go ahead and grab a boat from this chest really quick, and uh, let's have a race. Everyone line up. Wait, Cam, chill, chill, chill. Come back here, come back here. <laughs> Actually, wait, no, hold on. Everyone go over to the start and finish lines over here. Let's line up. Oh, it's so fast. Yep, the entire track is built out of blue ice. Okay, and lined up, which direction do we go? We gotta go this way. And here, if everyone's ready, let's start the race in three, two, one. Let's go! Whoa! Whoa, wait, I think I'm in the lead. I'm popping off. Come on, come on. Oh, I keep hitting the sides. Ah! Wait, what? How did you fall? I thought I tested everything. Um, apparently not. What? Okay, no way. I fell! 
Oh, Kim, did you fall too? Uh, yeah, Dash, uh, that sucked. Uh, How are you guys both falling? I haven't fallen off once uh, in all my testing. Um, this track is not baby safe, and oh, these boats are hard to use. Nah, this track is definitely baby safe. I think you guys are just bad at driving. What the? Ruby, what are you doing? Uh, <laughs> no wonder you fell off. I'm so dizzy. Uh, okay, l l let's just hop off the boats. Uh, I, th th that's enough of the ice boat racetrack, but I guess the next thing I have to show you guys is the bedroom. I have an entire bedroom from Dash Baby. It's right up here. It looks sick. Um, okay. I'm kind of on my way right now. Hold on. Wait, Kim, are, are you still down? Over, where, where are you? I'm grappling hook. Oh, what the heck? He's grappling everywhere. You're like Spider-Man. Yeah, except for I'm cooler than Spider-Man. Let's go. I did it. I'm up. Wait, what, where? Where are you? Over here. And, oh, oh, I see you. And... Uh, uh, oh, God. Whoa. Oh, wow. Oh, uh. Hey, I'm hurt. Hurry up, we have to look at the bedroom. Woo. Yeah, just do the parkour. Ah, oh, that requires me to do the parkour. Did you so? All right, I think I got it. I'm on my way. And, okay, okay, there you are. You're here. Well, anyways, guys, uh, oh, are you here? I, I, I think, yeah, yeah, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Let's just go to the bedroom now. And yeah, yeah, here. Everyone follow me upstairs right over here is Dash Baby's bedroom. You know, uh, it's pretty small. Uh, you know, all we have is the beds and the desk, but the view is actually crazy. Look, you can see the entire jungle from here. What? You have normal purple dyed beds? Yeah, what other types of beds am I going to use? Wait, how is he going to get used to living in the harsh outdoors if he has a cushy pillow? Uh, well, he's not going to have to live in the harsh outdoors. That's why I built this house for him, duh. Uh, it, is this the bathroom? And Oh, yeah, that's the bathroom, Cam. Why don't you try flicking the lever and flushing the toilet? Oh, wait, I think he's doing his business. He just shut us out. Wait, wait, hold on, Cam. While you're doing your business, Ruby, follow me over here this way. Uh, why don't you just... Uh, hold on, we got to break some of this glass. Uh, <laughs> check this out. I, I flicked the lever and... What the heck? Hey, it's on my house! <laughs> Cam, all your poop is dropping on Ruby's house. I hate this! Hey, I mean, uh, your fault for living down there, I guess. No way, I can see everything from the archery tower I built. But wait, Dash, is that your entire base? And yep, that is my entire jungle base. Oh, man, my house got pooped on. Uh, yeah, and my house got exploded. Hmm, if I were to rate your base, Dash, I'd give it a uh, 8 out of 10. I'm gonna give it a 5 because you pooped on my house. Wait, a 5 and an 8? <gasps> Let's go. Since we didn't even rate your guys' house, that means I have the best base. Let's go! What? No way! That was pretty crazy, and if you want to watch the next video, then click on the video on the screen right now.